Now, a controversial subject here, something that's all to do with morning routine. Something that is part of your morning routine, but definitely not Not mine. part of yours. Or, yeah. or night routine. Some people say you should do it at night. Yeah. Um, in case you're worried, we're talking about flossing. A leading British dentist has cast doubt on the value of it. Yeah, Professor Damien Wormsley from Birmingham University says there is only weak evidence that it prevents gum disease and cavities. And researchers in America also say there is little reliable evidence that it actually works. Still, most dentists tell us to do it as often as we can, daily. What is the best approach? Well, we've got Dr Angela Lee, a dentist who joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. So I've got to ask, so Sally does and I do. Both our teeth are fine. You definitely floss though, don't you, Angela? Yes. <laughs> Every day. You haven't flossed all your life? Not all my life. Since you've been a dentist? Since I've been a dentist. and Well, since I was a teenager when I had braces, I was advised to clean in between my teeth, so that's when I started. So my... that was the impetus. But people just don't do it, partly because, it, one, it seems just like a load of hassle, because you're brushing your teeth when you're getting ready for work, usually, or you're in a hurry. And sometimes it hurts. Well... If you're doing it regularly and your gums are healthy, it shouldn't really hurt. And if you're doing it with the right technique, so a lot of people don't have the right technique, so I think that's what a lot of people get wrong. They're doing it with a soaring action and yes, sometimes that's what damaging I've done their gums. Yes, that hurts. Yeah. So what are you meant to do? So basically, you're supposed to get a loop of floss, wrap it around your fingers, get it in between the teeth and pull it to one side. So it's like a loop around your tooth, like curved around the tooth, and then you pull it up and down. So you get into so between the gum yeah, and the tooth. And scraping mm. the... A uh, plaque from the side of the tooth. But there are all sorts, I and mean, then we're like showing that. how, how yeah. it's been done, so you go from side to side, but there are all sorts. It's not just teeth, it's not just floss, I mean. You have these um, interdental brushes. Yeah. I mean, you could have a whole array. <laughs> Honestly, of my, tools. my husband has a whole array of these things. It's an art form <laughs> wow. when he's flossing his teeth. It gets quite, you know, it gets quite complicated. It, it can do. The interdental brushes, they come in different sizes, so if you've got bigger gaps, you need a bigger size. And if you've got really tight spaces, you need a smaller size. We're saying so. all of this and saying how brilliant it is, but aren't we also saying that actually there's no point? Mm. Well, in my experience, I still believe in flossing and I would Why? still recommend it. What does it, it. prevent then? Uh, well, it removes the plaque from in between your teeth. So if you floss and you remove the plaque, you, can, uh, you remove the floss, you can see the plaque on the floss. So I'm not going to not do it because, you know, someone else says it doesn't work when I can see myself every well, day. Well, now the NHS is taking a look at this um, advice in the United States and actually considering whether or not dentists should be giving this advice and it should be something that we feel pressured to do. What do you think of that? Well, part of the reason of that is because there's not enough high quality studies to, um, you know, for the evidence. Um, but it doesn't mean to say that there is no benefit to it because I recommend all my patients to floss and I've had loads of patients come back and say oh you know the big difference it's made but not only flossing you need to be brushing correctly as well and also the advice changes all the time like this the advice is changing again for example don't rinse the toothpaste at the end yeah leave the toothpaste on yeah, your teeth yeah yeah so yeah a lot of people even the adverts they still show like use your mouthwash after brushing but what we've been taught in dental school and what we tell our patients is to use the mouthwash at a different time to brushing, otherwise it washes away the fluoride. You would be permanently doing tooth <laughs> administration, wouldn't you? It's not flossing necessarily mouth or... Do you floss at night or in the morning? Which I do is at night time, yeah, because I feel like it removes all the plaque buildup from the day and you don't, I don't feel like you need to do it in the morning. It's been good to talk to you. Thank Thanks you very much for joining Thanks. us. Time now, are you, are you convinced? Are you going to start flossing? No. I'll be honest, no. OK, I've got 15, Manic brusher. Uh, 15 minutes to persuade you. We'll get there. <laughs>